seems like somewhere about a hundred million fucking people would be like, ah, the world just got the world just got lighter somehow on my fucking brain. Yeah, that fucked up. Right, the grass is all green and there's fucking little flowers sprouting and shit out of it. Yeah, little songbirds start singing in the background while you're like, wow, it's a little early for for spring, but it just feels like spring's in the air all of a sudden. <laughs> tweet, tweet, tweet. You're like, yes, little birdie, sing. Sing, little bird. That reminds me of something. When I when I just did that, I used to do this thing with to my son. It made him crazy. I used to, I had this song. And uh, you remember, uh, you remember the song, I Dreamed a Dream? You ever heard, you ever heard this shit? I dreamed a dream, la da da dee. Anyway. Yeah, the impossible dream. Yes, the impossible dream. Yes, that shit. Well, it was, that sh- <laughs> that the corniness of yeah, that kind of. Dream, the impossible dream. The the impos- I've slayed the impossible foe. Yes, that whole thing. I think it was, yeah, but, I think you played it on one of the episodes, actually. Yeah, Robert Goulet or some fucking I can't remember. But I I used to do this thing when he would when he would act up, and like purposely you could see the look in his eye when he was purposely trying to get under your skin and shit. I would look at him and I'd go. <clears throat> I dreamed a dream of dreaming dreams. I dreamed a dream of dreaming dreams. A dreaming dream, oh so dreamily dreamed. I dreamed a dream (laughs) of dreaming dreams. And I would sing it just like that, the whole thing. And if he fucking acted up again, I would go, I would look at him, I'd go, son, and look over, and I'd just start, I dreamed. And it would drive him fucking nuts. I dreamed a dream of dreaming dreams. Oh, so dreamily dreamed. Oh, fuck. But yeah, it was... When I when I first did it, though, I was thinking of... Um, you remember... Uh, was it American Idol? There was this woman that was on it. Her name was Susan Boyle. And she was just this, this little kind of like troll of a little woman... You know, you just looked at it, and she was a British, English woman. And she comes on, and you're like, what the fuck? And all of a sudden, she just opens her mouth, and this angelic, operatic voice just effortlessly like starts flowing out of her fucking trollish little head. And it, and you just, it was like a, that's quite a moment. Has she gone on to, like, do more stuff? Well, she... She recorded at least one, maybe two albums. I don't know, maybe more. I'm not sure. But she did do some recording. But, I mean, how far are you going to take the spectacle? Well, I'm just trying to think if she's in that. There's a movie where they go around and they do a... They're like singing groups. What do they call them? Where they, like, harmonize with each other. Barbershop? Yeah, kind of like that, but there's like these competitions, and, uh, oh, what the fuck is, hold on, oh, what's that movie where they're singing all those guys and girls and they, like, compete? The movie where they compete, the singing people, the girls and the guys, they have groups, and they challenge, they go to, like, these challenges and sing. The movie. The one where they're singing, the, the people, they have competitions, singing comp- competitions. Oh my god, I know you've watched them. Whatever, there's like two or three of them. Fuck, I forget what they're called. Ladies and gentlemen, she's in it. ladies and gentlemen, she's like you a have just bore witness blonde, to the interior machinations of the Tiffin household. What? She's like a chubby blonde English troll. 
Chubby blonde English troll. <laughs> Isn't she blonde? Oh, Susan Boyle? Um, no. I think she's oh. she's a brun she has brown hair, but she's just like a little frumpy old little older woman. You know, just kind of. Well, anyway, there's there's these movies where they sing. They're they're pretty entertaining, and they sing like popular songs, and uh, they harmonize them. It's like a group of like eight people, you know, and they're doing like little clicks and you know beats with their mouths and you know just all this shit. What is this? And then they go to these competitions, and they compete, you know, like nationally, internationally. Where did you Where do you see this? Where have you seen it? I've just seen like. My daughter watching them. She, she's acting like she has no idea what I'm talking about. Of course, it's the moment of truth. Yeah, and I, I've seen it like two or three times. Just walked in on it. It's, it's entertaining, you know, because it's like they're singing. But I'm sure it's all pre-recorded, you know. It, you know, lip synced, you know, because it sounds too good to just like do it on camera, you know, fucking. So it's is it like a a game show, like a like a TV show? It's not a game show. A comp- competition no it's a it's like a movie about that like kind of thing. documentary not a, no just you know a movie like a, a feel good it's fucking hollywood fucking movie you know like oh you know oh, what the fuck's it called sounds like you're watching some gay shit <laughs> yeah it's pretty it's, it's pretty gay but uh i mean <laughs> showbiz showbiz is gay you know what i'm saying fuck like, yeah uh, Gayer than we ever thought. <laughs> oh boy. Mm. Yeah, it's kind of an obnoxious movie, you know. It's like, you know, one thing after another, just like nonstop. <sighs> like, we're traveling to London. Uh, we're now we're in Paris competing. You know, just some fucking mile a minute shit. Sing competitively, quickly. Yeah. I don't know. It's all fucking fucked up. Listen to me. Yeah. Check it out. What? I dreamed a dream of dreaming dreams. I dreamed a dream of dreaming dreams. I dreamed a dream, oh, so dreamily dreamed. I dreamed a dream of dreaming dreams. That's for you. That's in remembrance of Martin Luther King. I dream... No, yeah. <laughs> Martin Luther King. Awesome. <laughs> I have a dream. <laughs> Martin Luther King. So what'd you do for MLK Day? Um, I went to Popeye's Chicken. Oh, I knew it. You have any fried okra? No, actually, I drove by one. I didn't realize they had Popeye's around here. Love that chicken from Popeye's. What? Red beans and rice. Red beans and rice. Ooh. Scooby Doo, Jibbity Bow. Why am I doing the the Wolfman Jack? All right. Well, here's the question: oh. When was a Million Man March? What? The Million Man March. Yes. What about it? Where a million people marched on on DC, right? That's what they. Yeah. Well. Yes. <laughs> One million. How how did they look back, back at that historically as this great moment, and you know what happened recently is just tyranny and terrible. Through I just through heavy alcohol I, and prescriptions. Was the Million Man March was that for civil rights? Is that what that was? Uh. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I think that's what it was about. I mean, that was back probably, what, the late 60s or something? What? 
the Million Man March. The Million Man March was like in the fucking nineties and shit, wasn't it, or two thousands? Well, maybe they did a second one, but the first one was like back in the you know maybe early seventies, late sixties. Oh. Yeah, that wasn't the Million Man March. That was the the March on Washington. MLK? Yeah. Yeah, dude. That was just the March on Washington. Cool. Look, now you now you make me have to play some fucking some goddamn uh I was going to say um hip hop. Uh, what? Woo-ha, got you all in check? Yep. I know you got some Alanis. Alanis? Yeah. I got some Alanis. Listen, Alanis. kind of 90s nostalgia? No. Yeah. I don't have any real 90s nostalgia. The, if I, if I, if I have anything like that, it's more just like, you know, fondly remembering a lot of, a lot of, uh, especially like, the, a lot of music. especially like early through mid. Yeah. You know. I mean, yeah. a lot. I mean, love. Kind of... Yeah, I mean, over the over the course of the full, the full course of the '90s, I made a lot of fucking music. Shit, that was cool. Right? Yeah, man. Probably did at least a hundred cuts. Oh yeah, oh yeah, at least. Then you know stuff I did by myself also, or in the later '90s, like with Hydrosonic over there with Dean and those guys, and then with Greg for a while in the late, you know. And yeah. The tail end, so yeah. And then obviously FIH and fucking Juxta and the shit we did on, you know, fucking Hanson Farms and shit. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I ended up getting married. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's true, you did. You are fully invested now, pal. <laughs> the devil, <laughs> the devil laughs. <laughs> it's okay. I've been domesticated for quite some time myself. Domesticated, but not neutered. You know. Close. Just dangling by a, a feminist tubule. A little, yeah. One last little cunt hair. 
Might, might as well be a cunt hair.